simple beings of the universe, welcome to now. The message that I have for today is, behind everything that is beautiful, there's an equivalent amount of hard work, pain, and a lot of suffering that has gone into picture. What people tend to see is look at the final art, when the artist has painted the entire painting, and tend to say that, wow, this is so beautiful now. But what behind the scenes is, there's a lot of work. Every single stroke of the pen, every single stroke of the paint, things that does not go uh, into fulfilling the entire frame set of the picture. So it's not true to think that there's only one side of the goodness. Behind any person who is really good, they have delved deeper into their own side of, uh, into their own dark sides. And they have bogged that much deeply into their shadow self. So as Carl Jung said, the roots of a tree the, the, it's directly proportional, the growth of the tree and the roots of the tree. So the higher the tree, the deeper are the roots. So if you do not delve deeper into your own shadow work, there's no way that the fruits of your character will, will actually grow. And uh, this was a very beautiful thing and insight that I wanted to speak about in today's video. Because many times we are just told to uh, keep on having more and doing more just to evade from the knowing of who you actually are. And what is truly important is to understand how you operate, to watch your own self, like I talked about in my previous video, watch all the aspects of how does your mind behave, the way it reacts, the way it perceives, the way it justifies itself, the way it feels uh, defensive at times. So it's all uh, entire work of awakening and awareness. And precisely the same thing even Stoics said, uh, like, of course, there are two forces in the universe that acts upon each other, the yin and yang, the light and the dark forces. And though you might feel working in the light side that your effect is too small and then the fact that the darkness around you is so much overpowering, but that's okay. If you're on this path of truthness, of truthfulness, then definitely you would be tested. Like I said, uh, in all of my, all of my videos, I talk about that this whole work of self-improvement and uh, growth and precisely because of the fact that you are trying to do good and no matter what whether it's rewarded or not we have to stay on that path because even if you feel that you're losing and that the dark forces are too much stronger than you and you might feel you are very weak and vulnerable let it be first of all this is not true it's only an assumption that your mind perceives if such was the case, all of the great leaders have always advocated for good act. Socrates, Jesus Christ, Nelson Mandela, all of the people who have left their mark on the planet. They had to suffer. There's no other way around that. So just to evade that thing and uh, to get ahead in a rat race, wherein you can just have uh, more wealth, more money, more uh, property and stuffs. But that is... At the material level, you can enjoy that, definitely. You would enjoy those stuffs. But that's very short-lived. Because again and again, your mind will tell you that you are not actually acting upon the thing that you are created for. Because every human being is created with an innate sense of art and talent. The way how we exist into the world, that should have a message. Our very existence. And that message must correspond to beauty to motivation, to inspiration. So that there is, when you leave the world, you leave it in a bit better place. So that's what I wanted to talk about, this beautiful stoic message on, despite facing all of the obstacles and you might feel that you are being trammed down by society and having all sorts of pressures and probably you are just alone. Probably there is nobody in your favor. And you might feel that I just feel so much weak being myself. But that is not true. Just keep walking. And as you walk, the road reopens itself. As you keep on walking this path, you will find more and more courage and more strength that you gain along the way. Because there are a lot of beautiful people in this universe as well. There are a lot of great individuals who are there and who you will meet if you keep continuing your path. So don't be disheartened and don't feel small that uh, it's a wild world and I'm just out here trying to make a 
difference, trying to make some significance, trying to make some sense out of life, and you feel left out. That's not true. There are lots of good people in the world who are there and who are probably also thinking the same way, like how you do, that they are all alone. But when the time comes, you all come together and form a beautiful picture in the canvas of the universe. So always remember that. Have a great day, my friend. Bye for now.